The painstaking search continues here in Markham. Fire marshal investigators and their crew are still digging through the rubble of this house behind me using heavy equipment. The house that used to stand here on Burrow Avenue in the Kennedy Road and 16th Avenue area exploded on Sunday, killing a 12 year old boy and injuring three of his family members. The father, who was out for a bike ride at the time, has been watching this process in agony, but more than 56 hours later, there's still no sign of his little boy. The anguish is etched on Tahir Hamid's face as he waits for confirmation of what he already knows. Massive excavators have been clearing debris since Sunday, but the family has been assured that when the 12-year-old's body is found, it'll be removed carefully by hand, as gently and respectfully as possible. He's just crying, no eating, no sleeping, no everything. Tahir had been out exercising at 10 o'clock Sunday morning when the blast and fire occurred. But Iran, his two brothers and his mother were at home. Iran is believed to have been in the basement. The eldest son, 14-year-old Warvan, suffered a broken leg and minor burns, according to a family friend. But the mom, Chia, and the youngest boy, six-year-old Zir, were badly burned to as much as 65% of his body, the friend tells me. The little boy The is, little boy, it is unstable life. He's not in good shape? No. And the mom, too? Mom, too, as well. She was badly burned? Exactly. She has the very deep, like, the burn. And today, the doctor, like special doctor in there in a Sunbrook hospital, they decide to make some surgery for her. Two other homes had to be demolished after the blast and fire. Items that might provide some clues, such as the stove, have been removed from the debris. But in spite of working solidly for the last three days, investigators still don't know what caused the explosion. One of the first considerations is what was the fuel involved. As I said yesterday, we know we have natural gas to the house. So that is a consideration. We have to keep an open mind to the possibility of other fuels that could be in there. Uh, I'm not saying it's applicable here, but some of the fuels we've encountered in the past have been butane, propane, and similar uh, diffused vapor gases. A friend of the family tells me the Hamids came here from Iraq about a year and a half ago. The latest update on the condition of the other family members is that the little boy, Jir, is touch and go at Sick Kids. The mother, according to the friend, is also in critical condition at Sunnybrook. The eldest boy, Warvan, managed to escape with just a broken leg because we're told he jumped from a second floor window to escape the flames.